Hey y'all, what's up and welcome to my channel. In this video today, I'll be using Beauty Counter makeup products to get a day to night. This is your night look. One of my longtime friends, Becca, is a Beauty Counter consultant and I've been seeing Beauty Counter everywhere. I mean, who hasn't? It's just the buzz of the town. Their commitment is health and safety standards that kind of go past what the US federal laws are and they have what's called a never list and it has everything that will never ever be in any single one of their products and I think that is truly amazing and I will go ahead and put that in the description box as well because it is a whole lot of chemical names and it's a lot. And Beauty Counter has almost every makeup product, skincare thing you can possibly think of. And you will see in the video that I only have just a select number of things, kind of your basics. Becca had a great idea to host a online social. So in the description box, there'll be a link. And when you're at checkout, you can add social and you can hit Shelby social. Other than that, not a sponsored video. I was just really excited to try these products. I've been wanting to for a very long time. I know that's a long intro, so why don't we go ahead and just get started. So I already moisturized and primed my skin. I used the Drunk Elephant. It's the whipped cream moisturizer. And for primer, I used my Old Faithful, the Tatcha Silk Canvas. And I know that y'all can see this. I'm assuming it's menstrual related because <laughs> they're so painful and I haven't had zits like this since months and months and months before I was even pregnant. So almost a year and a half ago. <gasps> so I'm gonna go ahead and start with the face. I know that I always start with my eyes, but for my day to day, and we're starting with day, I always start with the skin. And if I get to eyeshadow, I'll put on eyeshadow, but for my bold looks, I definitely do eyeshadow first. First, I'm gonna go in with the foundation. This is the Tint Skin Hydrating Foundation. And after playing with this one, I used quite a bit because it has, I would say, light to medium coverage. And a Kabuki Densely Flat Brush is so far the best way to apply it, and stippling it in really helps because it is very hydrating. It feels, you can feel it kind of on your skin, I guess. Almost emollient. And I used the shade Linen. I'm going back in again to go down my neck because I'm just one of those people that like their foundation shade just a tinge darker. I think I may have forgot to mention that I did my brows. That's kind of why they look so bold on my face. I really feel like this is more pore minimizing. They're not not so much pore filling, but I see my pores less. <laughs> and when I do put it on the back of my hand, I'll show y'all. So the top one has foundation on and the bottom one doesn't. So this is definitely one I'm gonna purchase just for every day because it's so, you can feel that, that it is tacky on your skin, but it's very light. Next is concealer. I'm gonna go in with the Touch Up Concealer Pen. This is in the shade Fair. And I'll be honest with you, day to day, I don't wear this much concealer, but this is not the most full coverage concealer. I would say it is more medium coverage. And because of that, I'm gonna probably put two layers on. I just have the worst bags under my eyes. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put that on my lid to go ahead and prime my eyes. Don't wanna forget these friends of mine. Just overstaying their welcome. Concealer is blended out and it does blend like a dream. It's not the most full coverage concealer, no. But it did the job after two layers, but it did the job and it is very hydrating for my under eyes. So next we'll go ahead and set it and forget it. I'm gonna go ahead and take the mattifying powder and upon my first impressions when I used it earlier, it scared me. Oh, sorry, Becca. It was so white and I get it's powder and it's gonna be powdery, but it was just a lot. I'm going to apply the setting powder with the Morphe JH07, I believe, yep. And honestly, I think if you have oily skin and you use this foundation, if you just went ahead and set your whole face with the powder, it's matte. Go ahead and prime my eyelids. <sighs> There's powder everywhere. If I'm going to work or I'm going to the grocery store, hitting up Starbucks, I'm not contouring or anything like that. So we'll just go ahead and just bronze our skin, give us some color. So this is the Radiant All Over Bronzer in the shade Dune. 
Um, I don't know if this is the lightest shade or not. I would assume so, but I do like the packaging because you can just fold it back. It has a mirror. I'm gonna take the Morphe R14. This is my favorite bronzer brush because my face is small. I really have a pea-sized head, honestly, and I can get more precise with this. When I first dipped in, there wasn't too much pigment, which is good for me because I can go in with a heavy hand sometimes and not realize. So I feel like this is great for beginners in makeup. So playing with the foundation and the bronzer on top of it with the setting powder, yada, 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 you might wanna just set your whole face. Foundation does get a little slippery if you go in too hard with the brush and I'm just rough, I can't help it sometimes. <laughs> just me. Anyway, I didn't know this. I just saw this. No secrets added. Next I'm gonna go in with the Satin Powder Blush in the shade Guava. This is not my shade, but it is very pretty. It's not too much. I'm gonna take my favorite brush for applying blush, the Morphe E4, and just tap twice and smile. So it's really not as pink as it looks like on my skin. I think it gives yourself some color and makes you look healthy. All right, I'm gonna go in with the highlighter, the Luminous Powder Highlighter in the shade Halo. And I know they have just one other shade and I think it was just a little darker than this. So I'm gonna take the Morphe JH09 highlighting brush. And obviously this is not my kind of highlight. And it's one of those highlights that will flatter all ages. It honestly could be like a blush top or two. It just gives your skin some radiance. I'm just gonna use my Morphe setting spray. And another trick, after you use your setting spray, you can take your beauty sponge or whatever and if your skin is still wet, just push everything into the skin. You make it feel like your skin again, not like you have seven layers on. I believe this is a new product from Beauty Counter. This is the brow gel and I'm using the shade medium. This is kind of perfect for people that have holes they just want filled in. They don't really feel like drawing in brows every day. Just to brush through. I like the feeling of my brows not moving. So we're good there. So next I'm gonna play with eyeshadow. This is the classic eyeshadow palette and I am just digging all the warm tones. These are your everyday colors, but you have the extra sparkle in the middle, which I love. So for the daytime look, we're just gonna go super easy. So first I'm gonna go in with the Morphe JH30. This is a great, just big old blending brush. And I'm gonna take the shade Suede and we just take it in the crease. And if you want to stop there, you could. I'm gonna keep going to be just a little more extra. Next shade I'm gonna go in with is Sienna and I'm gonna take the Morphe JH32. And I'm just gonna do it on the outer corner and I'm just fluff it in. So I'm just gonna keep it real simple. Just use those two colors in the crease. And then I'm actually gonna take the shade Ivory, take that on the lid. And then just blending everything together, no harsh edges. We want a soft, daytime angelic look. I'm gonna go ahead and curl my eyelashes and apply some mascara and I'll be right back. So for mascara, I use the Milk Kush Mascara and I do not like applying it to my bottom lashes. For some reason it transfers. And when I was working in an office nine to five, I never wore bottom mascara. I didn't put anything under my eyes because during the day I never touched up my makeup and everything would just kind of fall and it just get heavier and heavier in my under eyes. So. I just leave it bare and I feel like it flatters the skin throughout the day more. Last but not least, I'm using the lip gloss. This is in the shade Buff. I'm a nude girl. They had like pinks and berry colors, but I keep it simple. Oh my gosh, and it's not sticky at all. So this is the daytime look and you're driving home from work. Um, you're on the couch watching Netflix. You get a random call. Your girls wanna go out. You got a hot date. We're in a rush. We don't have time to take all our makeup off, take a shower, start all over again. We'll just refresh what we have. So first things first, my concealer, it really doesn't matter which one it is. It's gonna crease under my eyes. It just will. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to get all of that creasing out. And then I'm going to add to the eyes first because if we do have any fallout, we'll just be able to wipe it away since we do have powder under our eyes. Well, y'all all know I'm gonna have to go in with this color. This one, it feels super dry to the touch, so you just kind of have to put a little bit of pressure, but bam, look at that. 
I'm just gonna place that on the lid. It just looks like foil, gold foil. So we definitely need some depth with our eyes. I'm gonna take this shade Sable and go in the outer corner. And then with the Morphe JH39, I'm gonna go in the inner corner with the shade Ivory again. To darken up those eyes, I'm gonna take the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Pencil. When you're in a hurry, nobody has time for a wing, so I'm just gonna smudge this on the top of my eye. I'm gonna take the Morphe JH43 and help smudge this further just to bring it out, just a little more. And I'm gonna wipe off that JH39 pencil brush. I'm gonna take the shade Sienna. I'm gonna take this brush again, the JH43. I'm gonna take Sable again and try to blend out that eyeliner or set it as well so it doesn't crumble all over the place. For daytime, I definitely do not wear false lashes since it's nighttime now. I'm going to throw some on. I'm gonna take the Kiss. These are the Blowout Lash, the Next Gen Wispy. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply those and I'll be right back. All right, lashes are on. I'll put bottom mascara on at a later time, almost when I'm completely done, because I need to clean up under my eyes and we'll just try to wipe away any fallout. I'll take more of that powder and just powder my under eyes, try to get it brightened up again. And you can always take a more full coverage powder and add that on the top to freshen everything up. Throughout the day, I feel like my skin just absorbs bronzer and blush and highlights. I'm gonna reapply some of that bronzer, just a touch to liven my skin up again. Not gonna add any more blush, but we will add some more highlight. I have an idea. What if I take, I'm gonna use a smaller highlighting brush. This is the Y14 and I'm gonna take that ivory shade. What happens? There she is. Multi-purpose. Love that. These are buildable, but I feel like they're also very beginner friendly too. So this would be a great purchase as well. I'm gonna apply the Kush Mascara to my under eyes. So that lip gloss has been long gone. I'm gonna go ahead and add my own lipstick. I have these little ColourPop minis. I'm gonna take the shade Cookie. And then on top of that lipstick, I'll go ahead and apply the gloss. And here's your nighttime look. Super, super easy. Just like a little bit of touch ups, darkening the eyes a little bit, good to go. Thank y'all so much for watching. And a big thank you to Becca for sending me all of these products and getting to play with them. And don't forget, if you were interested in something today, check the description box below and there will be a link so you can go there and shop till you drop. As always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that like button. I always greatly appreciate it, and I will see y'all next time. Bye, y'all.